Welcome back guys to another episode, to another horror game upon this rock. I don't know what this game's about, I presume we're going to be on a rock. Also, apparently it's a short horror game. That's it, a rock and short and horror. That's all I know about it, so let's take a look. Journal pages found. What's the light over there? Hey, is this going to be like Slender Man? I dare say, I kind of shake this feeling that I'm being watched. Every time I gaze upon the great sea, I feel as though there is something out there waiting for me. Okay, you're a poet and you didn't freaking know it. I have begun to see things in the water, shapes and shadows that ought not to be there. There was no two, but you know. Hey, I know I must leave this place, yet I cannot seem to depart. The lighthouse is my home, yet it is also my prison. And upon this rock I will build my church, and all the powers of hell will not conquer it. Oh, it's from the Bible, I presume. Matthew 16, 18. I mean, I've had a quick look. It's similar-ish. Right, I have found one journal page. I can run. I don't have a flashlight. This music is um very intriguing. It's, um... I get a very lonely vibe from it. I really do. It's very interesting. Um, I don't know if I can go to this person. Can I go to them? I guess I should not go to the person. What happens? I'm guessing they killed me and I should not have gone to said person. Now I know. Okay, we shall avoid them or attempt to. They're kind of in the freaking way. Unless, can I scale this? Who was that person? Why did they attack me? Why don't they like me? Maybe I don't like them. I wonder if they're guarding a note or something. So I'm guessing this is the church. Okay. Found another note. I have taken to dreaming of the sea every night. In my dreams, I am a creature of the ocean. I swim through the water, dive in deep into the depths. When I awake, I feel as though I am suffocated. I cannot shake the feeling that I belong in the water, not on land. Okay. Okay, so there's another person now. Oh, I just didn't notice them. No idea. Is this going to be kind of like a mermaidy kind of sireny game? Where, like you're called to the sea because of the sirens ah oh, the beautiful siren music that we have heard so much about i've begun to see things on the shoreline creatures that ought not to exist half human half fish with twisted gnarled bodies they chant me beckoning me to join them in the sea i try to ignore them yet they grow louder and more insistent i know not how much longer i can resist thomas was drunk again this morning he donned his diving gear and went out to prove me a madman. We shall see who is mad while he's dead. Okay, so there is like another person there now. Um, I'm guessing we make our way that way. We need, go we need two more pages. The issue is I don't know where... I don't know where the other one would potentially be. Oh, he's moving. Oh, freaking hell, they're moving now. Ah, oh, there's a built-in down there, so imagine there's going to be one there and one in the lighthouse. This is creepy. This game is definitely freaking creepy with all the noises. Oh, I see. I see a note. And there's going to be another one in the lighthouse. Oh, my God, is that a tentacle? Okay. I feel as though I am changing. My skin has grown thicker, my fingers webbed together, and I can feel something growing on my back. I know it is not possible, yet I cannot shake the feeling that I am turned into one of those creatures I see on the shore. I'm terrified of what I'm becoming. Schneider and the other sailors saw my hands yesterday and recalled in terror. Now they hound me insistently. Okay. Can't you just sort of cut the skin off if you're really... I mean, I say that, I mean... I don't know if I would, because it probably would be a tad bit painful, but there's always that option. Okay, let's get, let's get a move on. I mean, I'd love to explore this place. It's really interesting. But I know there's people, and they'll be... Am I the person with the webbed hands? And that's why they're coming after me insistently. But let's get into this lighthouse and 
find out. I presume this is um, where I've got to go. I really like the fact that this game hasn't really shown you where you've got to go, but the way it's laid out has made it quite easy to fathom. So it's quite nice that it's easy to work out. I say that, I'm probably not going to be able to find the fifth page now. I hear that noise, it's getting louder. Oh, there is the page. I can bear it no longer. The creatures call to me constantly now, and I can no longer resist them. Tonight I shall sit out in my dinghy, and I shall join them in the sea and embrace my true nature. I know it is mad, yet I cannot fight it any longer. Samuel H. Attaquin, Lighthouse Keeper of Market Reef. We shall dive down through black abyss, and in that layer of the deep ones we shall dwell amidst wonder and glory forever. HP Lovecraft. Oh, so it's a Lovecraftian kind of game. Okay, guys, so that was Upon This Rock. It really wasn't your typical kind of horror, and I feel it did leave it open to your own interpretations. So personally, I feel we were the lighthouse keeper, and that person with the torch, I feel he, as well as all the other ones, they were the sailors who were searching for us because of our webbed hands and all that. And I feel that idea ties in really nicely with the lonely music I mentioned. It emphasised the fact he did feel very alone towards the end scene as he was the one being called to the sea. He was the one being deemed crazy. Great short horror game and I'll definitely be keeping an eye open for more from the developer. So that's it for today guys, but if you enjoyed the video then please hit the like button and if you'd like to see more then don't forget to subscribe. Otherwise I'll see you next time.